take off my hat. All right, there's the happy couple. Do you guys have anything to say before you uh, tie the knot? <laughs> oh. She's been wanting to do that. We're both really nervous. Yeah. But uh, I just remember to take off my hat inside while I'm in court. Well, I can see that you did mess up your hair because of your new haircut. Yeah, that's exactly true. Exactly true. So we're just waiting for the judge. So here's who's with you today. We have Mary Ellen or Kelsey, soon to be Mary Ellen or Greco, otherwise known as Omar Greco, and Mr. Richard Barrett, my best man and witness. Otherwise known as? Otherwise known as Pigman. And you are? <laughs> I am the true monster, true man. Also known as? Also known as? <laughs> Greg Rico. Greg Rico. Greg, 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 right. Greg Rico. What's your middle name? Owen. I'm not sure I ever know that. knew that. Well, Gregory Owen Rico. Or Gog. As in Gog and Magog in the Bible. All right, don't go down that road. All right. <laughs> that ties in with my uh, psychosis, so. We'll just leave that one alone. All right. That, that's a good place to stop till you guys start okay. saying your vows. <laughs> You're ready. I'm ready. Where are the rings? I have the rings. You have the rings? Okay. And you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay. We've been together for nine years. Oh. We are gathered together to seal and formalize the bond between Gregory and Mary Eleanor with the dignity of this office. We are united in the common desire for their joy and happiness. This is a memorable event and all of us must share in experiencing the seriousness of the bond of marriage being forged here today. It is love that unites a couple and leads them into marriage. It is this wedding ceremony which will enable this couple to enrich that love by the sharing of their lives. It is for this reason that no matter what the nature of the wedding ceremony, it is a solemn occasion, and the sentiments expressed here today must last a lifetime. This union will bind the two of you together in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will deeply influence the rest of your lives. The future you share must be filled with love for one another, concern for one another, and a commitment to preserve the strength of this union with fidelity. Mary Eleanor and Gregory have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes, yes. yes. We love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into this marriage, please join your right hands together and declare your consent before each other in this office. Yeah, I don't even have to tell you to look at each other. Gregory, do you take Mary Eleanor to be your wife? Yes. Do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad? Yes. In sickness and in health? Yes. To love and honor her all the days of your life? Yes. Mary Eleanor, do you take Gregory to be your husband? Yes, I do. Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad? Yes. In sickness and in health? Yes. To love and honor him all the days of your life? Yes, I do. Okay, Gregory, you need her ring. Put it about halfway on her finger and repeat after me. Mary Eleanor, take this ring. Mary Eleanor, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And as an external sign. And as an external sign. Of my willingness. Of my willingness. To share my life with you. To share my life with you. And everybody's finger slows Okay, Mary Eleanor, you need his ring. Put it about halfway on his finger and repeat after me. Gregory, take this ring. Gregory, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And as an external sign. As an external sign. Of my willingness. Of my willingness. To share my life with you. To share my life with you. Put it all the way on. As you have declared your consent in the presence of this company, I would ask you now to share with me a moment of silent prayer that God may strengthen your consent and bless this marriage.
consented together in legal wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and his company and have given and pledged their fidelity each to the other. According to the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Ohio and the office of judge of the city of Euclid, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You kiss your bride, I need you. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank oh, you're you. welcome. I need the witness to come and sign. Have a happy All family. Right. Oh, you too. That's when we're going to celebrate with the family. Oh, that'll be good. We need to sign here. I was crying through the whole thing. Oh, but you did well. When you cried too much, then I cried, and then I don't get through. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you need to keep the track of the paperwork in this big family. Your yeah, choice, yeah, they lose yes, everything. Yes, they do. They lose everything. Okay, here is your license. A copy of the ceremony and a certificate from the court. I'm going to mail everything off to the probate court today. Oh, congratulations. My father abandoned me when I was 17. Oh. You're a good substitute. Oh, God. You're a little more intelligent than she is. Well, congratulations. And nicer. A lot nicer. Have a long, happy, healthy we will. life together. We will. And enjoy the day. Okay, and I don't want to cut in front of your camera. Oh, no, it's all right. They're, they're kind of wandering. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.